This is a bike that is really inspired by the times where motorcycles were still ridden by rebels. That's the kind of spirit it should have. Here it is, the new R90 racer. Bella figura, says the Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The line is very fine. Yeah, um, it's sporty. Reminds me of um, the BMW sports bike from the 70s or so. Of course, yeah. it's inspired by our own, uh, the yeah. bike we built, the Concept 90. It's also a little bit typical, this spirit of the cafe racers from those times. And these are the, the BMW uh, racing colors. The yeah, it's colors. basically the yeah. more or less the M colors. Yeah, we really wanted to emphasize the fly line, right? You see it, the color, we really pulled it straight through. And it's a good mix from modern technique and the old school things. Yes, and you can see the, the fine air-cooled engine. The half fairing is perfect for, for this sporty style. Yeah. yeah. And air-cooled for the 90s, again, it's super important. You keep it simple, keep it air-cooled. And uh, this motor, this whole driveline, the engine, gearbox and the swing arm, we want to keep this as the base for all the 90s. The frame is not, not the same like the 90. It's shorter here. On the 90, you have the three-piece frame. And here it's a little bit simplified, but you can still put the foot peg brackets on. Mm -hmm. You can still put the two up seat uh, on it. So you could ride two up for a weekend if you would like. This fork is the same um, like in the scrambler, but it's shorter. Yeah, exactly. And it's a, now it's a normal telescopic fork, not the upside down fork. And the tank is, uh, is not aluminium? The tank is steel now, but as you see, it's the typical iconic uh, 90 shape. Uh, the tank is really what defines the, the motorcycle unit. I like the wheels. They're perfect for the sporty style from the bike. On this one, we uh, specifically wanted to go with a cast look. Oh, this is a very fine detail with the mirrors. Yeah, I'm really glad you see that because this is one of the details where we actually put a lot of effort in. As soon as you take the normal ones away, you have a really ugly spot. That's why we wanted to keep it underneath. And position is perfect. It's a leather bike. A bike Definitely. for driving in leather, not in uh, Gore-Tex. This is also a bike, like when you look at it, like the, the people, the customers that are attracted to this kind of style. You have customers from, you know, 20 up to, I don't know, 78, and they still like that bike. Double instruments is, is very yeah. good. Um, at the Scrambler, you have one. On the Scrambler, you only have a Speedo. Here you also have the rev counter. Always there's a racer, you need a rev counter. What's with the exhaust? Yeah, for the exhaust, we have a couple of different um, possibilities. All the options that we have, they're of course split at the um, same spot as uh, at the butterfly. So from there on, you can put basically any exhaust option you want on it. And that's, that's exactly what we wanted to keep the possibilities open for, you know, that you yeah. can do all these changes. And just like on the 90, it's super easy, you know, to, uh, to customize it. Mm. Yeah, all the parts are still interchangeable. Well, I don't like the bike. I love it. It's perfect for road racing. It's perfect for cafe racing. It's perfect for Glamsec 101.